Hey, it's Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. We're in Vegas Effects today, and we're going to talk about something very common with visual effects uh, that you're going to want to know how to do, and that's how to add your own HDRI images. So essentially, we got this base shot here. I'm going to drop it in, and we've already covered using uh, moving and importing 3D objects. But something about 3D objects is some of them have reflectiveness and stuff, and the difference between making them look very fake and look very real is adding your own HDRI. Now, let's import our 3D object. If you remember, you go to import in 3D model, and uh, you, a lot of times your 3D models will be what's called an OBJ. That's a dot object. And I'm going to go ahead and import this one I've used right here for a special effect I did where I blend an Oculus controller. When you import the object, it's going to have a lot of options. Uh, and this is this is your 3D object. You can spin around, look at it here. And we've already talked about this, but particularly I want the shininess to be really high. But first off, you'll see the diffuse map, specular map, normal map, and bump map. These all are special files that can come along with it. I need to grab the diffuse map in the specular map but if we make the shininess go all the way up and the refraction amount go all the way up we can actually make it look like a chrome piece and you can see it gets so shiny you can actually see the HDRI that's being used right here it's like a theme park or something because um, you can see there's like a building upside down there there's a sign there's a fake room that's wrapping around this to give it something to reflect to make it look realistic uh, so we're going to keep it shiny and chrome like this even though it's not what an oculus controller looks like in real life this is going to help show what we're doing in this so I'm going to now that it's here I'm going to drag it to the timeline and I'm going to make sure it's on top where you can see it and you can see right now it doesn't have any of its shininess. We're going to have to add that back. So that's good enough for our purposes here. So the next thing we're going to do is we actually want to get an HDRI. Now you can take these and stitch these yourself. That's outside of the scope of this tutorial. What we're going to do is we're going to go to a website. It's called HDRI Haven. This is a very common place to get these light wraps. And uh, they're all free and they, they're funded by Patreon. It's a cool place. You should check it out. So in the HDRIs, if you have HDRIs, you can get different types. Uh, we're going to go with Studio because this has a very studio look, right? It's got that black background. And we're going to find something that has a similar lighting style to this. So this is very whites and blacks kind of lighting style. There's no oranges or grays or anything. Uh, so we're looking for something like this one right here. Very, very generic white and black. Instead of like a, this one's got a more yellowish look to it. You know, they all have different lighting looks. So we want something that matches. So I'm going to click on this one here. And I'm going to, this is what an HDRI looks like too. It's like a 3D bulb image. There's a lot of different ways people use them with different softwares. I'm going to go ahead and grab the 4K version of it. And then I got it right there. It actually downloads super fast. And you can grab it right from your downloads folder, drop it into your shot. Now, what this is is actually something that you're going to put in your shot, but it's a 3D image, right? You can, you can, but it's 2D, but it's really a 3D image that you can uh, slide around uh, in a 2D fashion. We're not doing anything with this really, other than we're going to to just leave it where it is and we're going to mute it. The next thing we're going to do is click on the Oculus controller and over here where there's all these gauges and stuff uh, we can go to the Oculus controller material and we can go to this environment map right here. This is where you use your HDRI and we can either use composite shot or use layer. We're going to use a layer and it's going to ask us what layer it is underneath it the layer we're going to use underneath it is the one called Studio Small because that's the name of the HDRI we imported. So now the shininess, it's a, it can actually take that fake shininess from the HDRI and reflect it. So now it's got this metallic look that when you move it around through the image, you'll actually see the studio reflected onto it. How cool is that? So that is how to get a more realistic looking um, 
image, a realistic looking model. Now obviously we'd need to do some shadow matching and stuff like that and we'll hit that in a later video but this video is just about adding HDRIs on your image and how to do that so it is in the environment maps there and uh thank you for watching like this video helped you out subscribe if you're looking for more vegas effect videos i'm going to be doing a sci-fi sketch uh, over time just kind of building on it little by little and as i do that i'm going to be uh, learning more about vegas effects and teaching more about vegas effects as we go as we're having to make spaceships and import aliens and uh all sorts of fun, interesting stuff, uh, particle effects.